Today is about balance. So I want to talk about balance because as an individual, in terms of your personal development, personal awareness, balance is essential, is actually quite important so that you can make progress in a short time and not be met with a lot of obstacles. So I want to present some ideas, concepts, um, in an abstract way, and then to allow yourself, to allow your mind to digest these ideas and integrate them into what you perhaps already know. And if these ideas and concepts are new to you, then give them a chance, listen with an open mind, keep your back straight, very important, and just breathe. Take them in, listen to this video again, and work at your own pace. What's really important for me is that you realize we are individual and therefore how we learn about awareness or about allowing our authentic identity to emerge because when it does then you are seriously in deep connection with your inner guidance and once that inner guidance is established you won't feel blocked you won't feel alone you would feel um, your imagination would be ignited and you would feel quite guided and you would understand how your own thinking process works. And this is why I just want to remind you of the four dimensions of change, body, emotions, mind, belief system, mental activity, thinking process, and finally, accountability to actions. So very often when we are not in balance, we are, when we are not in the flow, we will experience blockages. It's as simple as that. When we are in alignment, when these four dimensions are equally balanced, if you will, then you are in alignment and you will experience flow. Now balance, it can also be subjective. Your experience of balance could be an idea of perfect order. And I would like to tell you drop that because there is no perfect order. There is no perfect balance. So what we're talking about is a domain of balance. So we may still, not we may, well, for sure, we will wobble, we will feel emotional, put on weight, lose weight, feel inspired, feel absolutely bored, uh, be full of joy, uh, feel disconnected. So long as it is within a range, an acceptable range, which means you won't experience downtown for too long, you won't spiral down for too long, then it's a natural process of growth. If you look at the whole universe, there is nothing in stillness. If life is perfectly balanced, i.e. if it's a static situation, then it isn't life. There will be no life. <laughs> because as long, as long as we mention life, it means movement, vibration, pulse, exactly on a microcosm, like your heart. When your heart pumps the blood around, um, it depends on how you feel, it depends on what you're experiencing, blood pressure fluctuates within the same day according to what you're experiencing but so long as it's within an acceptable norm or an acceptable uh, range that doesn't render you dysfunctional then it's okay to experience these fluctuations i would also like to remind you that the more your awareness grows the more you become intentional in how you design and create the future the more sensitive you will be to changes in your life. So don't panic. You will simply become more, your perception will become a lot sharper and therefore you cannot help but react to, those, to these perceptions. That is normal. It's almost like a skyscraper, a very high building, and towards the very end, towards the very top of the building, it will always kind of do that. So that's normal. <laughs> In fact, if it was at a standstill, it would probably buckle and collapse. So movement is essential because we grow through this movement. So sometimes I'm telling you this because I felt that many of you have placed a tremendous pressure on yourself by judging yourself, by making statements um, like, you know, I'm not handling this. I'm tired of dealing with this, 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 and that at the same time because our circumstance has changed. And if you are married with children, you would probably have your hands full because the education system has changed. They're at home. They're more online. Um, all of these things will affect the four dimensions of change. And you are, it's normal. 
you are likely to experience more blockages now than any other time before, which is what really prompted me to do this course. The important thing is to allow yourself to listen with an open mind, to accept these, to allow yourself to integrate them. And once they're integrated in your own thinking process, your own belief system, you will automatically begin to act on them. It's almost like you've updated the software and now the results are going to be different. So try not to be too busy writing notes or whatever it is, because you have the video, you'll have access to it. Do download it and save it if you want to keep it and listen to it later. And the important, another important point is this idea of perfection, really let it go. Understand that change, any change will inevitably bring progress. It may seem like a change for the worse because it is something that we're not used to. And this is what triggers fear. Many of you, the second um, common issue, if you like, was fear. So probably tomorrow we'll talk about fear and later on we'll talk about money, income, because many of you are also struggling in that area, understandably. So getting back to balance. A change will put you out of balance because your perspective is like this. This is how my life should be. Um, I am in control. I seem to be in charge of everything. But now the whole world has changed. So how do you adapt? So we're dealing with two things. We're dealing with change on a personal level, on a microcosmic level, and we're dealing uh, with a change on an outer level, not in your inner world, but it's affecting everyone else or a cosmic level. So it's a multi-layered, if you will, and therefore your reaction or your response or the way you deal with it can also be multi-layered. I'm saying this because I'd like you to understand that the answer isn't straightforward. It's not your fault that you're not in balance because you're dealing with a lot of factors which are more likely to amplify this lack of balance in your life. So be gentle with yourself. Don't judge yourself. It's really normal. And I have spoken about understanding the human condition. So it's nothing that is personal to you. All human beings will suffer in this way when they're met with a huge change or a transition, i.e. literally moving from one cycle to another where a lot of factors are different, not just a few. And that movement is okay, so long as it doesn't render you dysfunctional for too long. So if something is at a standstill, it's not alive. If it's vibrating, if it's moving, fluctuating, that is absolutely normal because this is how we function. This is how the universe at large functions. I like to simplify things, maybe sometimes even oversimplify them because we need to understand a very complex situation in a simple way first to make sense of it and then you can go as complex as you want. <laughs> so my job is to introduce, if you like, or my intention is to introduce these ideas as I have assimilated them into my own understanding and hopefully that will help you. Um, so you can go on and explore what struck a chord with you in a deeper way in your own time. So I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of exercises and things. I'm still getting questions and uh, messages from you asking, what's the homework, what's the homework? There is no homework. <laughs> so just allow these ideas to come in. Relax, no homework, because your lives are already overwhelmed. And if these ideas help uplift your day, then that is a job accomplished, and I'm very, very pleased that it would. So I'm gonna try and share my screen now to explain an idea of balance. So lack of balance creates movement, fluctuations, and if these fluctuations are too far apart, you know, between two extremes, this is when we really wobble, we really struggle. So whenever you feel you're out of balance, it's usually in different areas or at the same time, but there will always be one prominent area. It will either be in your body, in your emotions, in your thinking, or, in action or lack of action. But let's go back to what is the biggest area that you feel you're out of balance with right now. And my idea is if you put a priority 
because you can't solve everything at the same time, especially if patterns took a long time to be established. If they went on for too long before you were aware of what your patterns are, it will take a lot longer to uncover them. So unboxing, the U stands for uncover your strengths and weaknesses. You need to uncover your own truth. If you're struggling, there is something that you're not seeing. It could be in your blind spot, like literally it's outside your perception field. And by learning new ideas, um, practicing new techniques, you will expand your perspective and you'll be able to notice a lot more about yourself. And therefore you'll be inspired with many, a lot more options in terms of what to do in order to come back to balance. So if we're extremely out of balance, in a way that is good because it's showing you what to do. So whatever you did that struck you out of balance, you need to bring it back. So, I, so this is balance. This is also balance if it's, a, if it's a slight swinging movement. But anytime you push yourself to control, you mobilize a lot of energy to go from here to here, look at that. You will immediately get an opposite uh, reaction in the opposite direction. So this is what happens when we say diet starts tomorrow, your body goes, no, it doesn't. And then we begin to really fluctuate, eat when we don't normally eat as much or snack, things like that. When you think I'm in charge, I'm going to control everything, you know, because it feels like we're, lack, we're lacking control right now. And then again, you get a force back that says, no, you don't. So essentially this movement really, in a sense, is what keeps us going because if we take it as an opportunity. So if you have an open mind, if you face your truth, why am I wobbling so much to the point that I'm not making any progress, then whatever you did to take you out of balance, you can undo, <laughs> stop doing, and then gradually you will come back into balance and things will start to flow. Why? Because you're wasting so much energy going from left, right, one extreme to the other, that you don't have literally enough energy to channel in the right direction, which is towards flow. So I hope that you can see this. I want to enlarge it a bit more. Right, so this is if we're going on in life, that's the balance control way. Uh, not so much controlled, but at least we're managing it. It seems to be, uh, we seem to be in charge of it, let me say. I hesitated about the word, word, word control because I don't think, honestly, that we can control anything. What we can control is our response to that stimulus. We can control the way we respond to people in the sense that we may not lose our temper on our children or partners or whatever it is, but you can't control what happens in your outside world. A great metaphor that I always like to use is driving. You're responsible for the way that you drive, but you're not responsible for how somebody else is driving. Your job is to continue on your path, to guide yourself towards your destination without getting hurt. Same thing in life. Don't judge people. Don't worry about people. Try not to lose your temper on people <laughs> because they have their own lessons, their own issues to sort out. What you're responsible is what you're responsible for is not to overreact so that you spend a lot of time swinging between two extremes. So if we look at this um, simple diagram here, let's say you're going along a lane, something happens, woof, chaos throws you off track. And then you crash. This is when you're trying to control things, you're projecting your own solutions, you're projecting how things should happen. But when we move out of the way and we observe, the four dimensions of change can guide us as to what needs to, be, to come into alignment. And if you're aware of the four dimensions of change, then you will continue your journey towards your goal. You will always be you. You will know what your core values are. You will know how you will respond and to what measure. You will know that I will not spend a lot of energy reacting. I will take charge and be acting. You will act rather than react. And this is what's important. So we learn through emotional upheaval, that takes me back to the beginning, that any change, any blockages is really great because it's putting it under the microscope for you to see. 
In the same way with dreams, I work a lot with the dreams because I feel that dreams are the language of the subconscious mind. And uh, sometimes people ignore their nightmares, they tuck them behind. I think nightmares are very important because you're literally, your unconscious is consciously shouting at you, wanting you to, do, to remember um, the message that's been conveyed in the dream. So when we get to the dimension of the mind, uh, we'll have maybe a, a lesson or a unit or a class on the dimension of the mind. And I will try to include dreams a little bit because also part of growth is integrating the conscious with the subconscious. So why self-development? Why unboxing? Because it's, we're starting to remove layers so that you can get to know who you are on a deeper level. And if you maintain that alignment or at least become aware when you're out of alignment, then gradually you will connect yourself with your guiding star. The star is here actually, but I like the idea of a star because I love stars. Um, you will be guided by your inner star, your inner guidance, you will feel that things are not quite right. What is it that I need to do? What is it showing me? What is it that I need to do to come back to balance? So when I talk about uh, balance, where is it here? I remember, or what comes to the mind, is the yin and yang symbol. I don't know what that came, why that came down. Let me try and take it up. It doesn't want to go up. Okay, fine. So let's look at the yin and yang. For me, when you say balance, it's either the scales of justice um, or the balance, or the yin and yang. Even the yin and yang is not at a standstill. There's always movement between the two opposing forces. And if you look well at a proper diagram of yin and yang, you will see the aspect of the yang within the yin, and you will see an aspect of the yin within the yang. So none are better, uh, not one of them is better than the other. The two are complementing factors. So as human beings, we have these two opposing forces. A man would have a, f a feminine side and a woman would have a masculine side. And the idea is to bring them into balance. It doesn't mean you're that way still all the time because look at the meandering line here. I wonder if you can see the cursor. So even the yin here, there is a lot of yin here and that comes into balance. And then within the yin, there's a lot of yang here. So there's a constant movement or there's a variation or there's a happy medium within which the yang and the yin fluctuate. They're constantly communicating to each other so that they maintain the balance. So I'd like you to forget that idea of perfection. You know, as a woman, this is how I should be. As a man and a breadwinner, this is how I should be. Or as a working woman and a boss babe, this is how I should be. Because from experience, I find that a lot of my clients put themselves under those pressures. Nobody put them up on a pedestal. We put ourselves on a pedestal and then it really weighs us down. So no perfection. The idea is balance when it, where it doesn't render you dysfunctional. Now, there is a lot of definitions of, um, of balance here. So we have different aspects of yin and yang. We have the feminine, the masculine, the passive, the active. Um, I'm just trying to trigger your imagination because I think during this time, my sense is that everyone is on alert. And when you are on alert, you kind of contract and then you forget to expand, you forget to exhale, you forget to breathe and you stop taking inspiration in. So relax. And this is really on purpose. Um, I don't want to get esoteric on you, but it's really on purpose to kind of make you think of this idea of right or wrong, balance, out of balance, and to be, to start to discern when and in what dimension are you out of balance. 